Excuse me. I'm blood. I'm... Jack. It's not possible. Not probable. Where's Elizabeth? She's safe, just like I promised. She's all set to marry Norrington, just like she promised. And you get to die for her, just like you promised. So we're all men of our word, really. Except for Elizabeth, who is, in fact, a woman. Shut up! You're next! You don't want to be doing that, mate. No, I really think I do. Your funeral. Why don't I want to be doing it? Well, because... Because the HMS Dauntless, pride of the Royal Navy, is floating just offshore, waiting for you. What are we doing here? The pirates come out unprepared and unawares. We catch them in a crossfire, send them down to see old Hob. I know why we're here. I mean, why aren't we doing what it was, what Mr. Sparrow said we should do? With the cannons and all. Because it was Mr. Sparrow who said it. Do you think he wasn't telling the truth? Just hear me out, mate. You order your men to row out to the Dauntless, they do what they do best. <laughs> Robert's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. There you are with two ships. The makings of your very own fleet. Of course, you'll take the grandest as your flagship, and who's to argue? But what of the bow? Name me, Captain. I'll sail under your colors. I'll give you 10% of me plunder, and you get to introduce yourself as Commodore Barbosa. Savvy? I suppose in exchange you wanted me not to kill the whelp. No, 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 it's all by all means. Kill the whelp. Just not yet. Wait to lift the curse until the opportune moment. For instance, after you've killed Norrington's men, every last one. <laughs> you've been planning this from the beginning. Ever since you learned my name. Yeah. I want 50% of your plunder. 15. 40. 25. I'll buy you the hat. A really big one. Commodore. We have an accord. All hands to the boats. Apologies. You give the order. Gent, take a walk. Not to the boat. 